In what is a stunning turn of events, John Fetterman rejects Progressive Label as Left Wing attacks him over his position on Israel and immigration. What is up, people of the internet? It is me, Real American, back in with a new video today. It is time that we talk about the chaos that is unfolding on Capitol Hill because everyone and what could be one of the most strangest turn of events of really this entire year? John Fetterman, yes, that Fetterman, the senator from Pennsylvania, has just did something that none of us expected and rejected a progressive label, and he is getting attacked from the left over his position on Israel and immigration, and potentially the sign of John Fetterman having a based conservative moderate whatever you want to call it, arc. Now, to be clear, I don't know how much of this is real, how much of this is just him pandering to Pennsylvania, but I'll take it. I mean, you have somebody that ran as a progressive suddenly saying, uh, no, 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 I'm not a progressive at all. But first, before we continue with today's video, I hope you enjoy these type of videos. If you do, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Guys, just for a dollar a month, you can join Real American. This is the best way to support the daily content that we all know and love. So I hope and recommend you join the channel today. All right, everybody. So let's get into it. Of course, Merry Christmas. I hope everyone's having a safe Christmas. Hope everyone's having fun, all that stuff. So yeah, Crisis King, cannot forget about that, that's what Christmas is about. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a great holidays, you know, yeah. Alright, enough of that, let's get into it. After calling him a progressive Democrat for several years, Democratic Senator John Fetterman of Pennsylvania is renouncing that label, as he comes off under attack from the left wing of his party in recent months. Yeah, the guy that ran as a progressive just... Two, a year ago at this point, that's it. He is suddenly saying, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not a progressive at all. I'm just a blue-collar, moderate Dem that's going to be pro-union, all that. But no, I'm not a progressive. I, this story is just baffling to me because Democrats were praising this guy as the second coming. Now they hate him because they disagree with him on two issues. What does that tell you about the Democrats, by the way? You disagree with them on one issue. You are immediately, you know, getting attacked from the entire Democrat Party. Right? Every everybody in the base. With the Republican side, yeah, you see some of that being pissed off when you disagree with one issue. But when you have open rhinos, you know, being basically Democrats like Becky Edwards, for example, it's like... Maybe a quarter say something. You don't see this backlash just for one issue within the Republican side. Democrats, you do. That shows you how united and how lock full the party is with the progressive wing. I would just call myself a Democrat, he told CNN's Jack Tapper earlier this month. And I believe that I'm on the right side of issues. Whether that's being very pro-choice. Maybe that I believe that is being pro-union. And if I believe that's pro-Israel as well, too. So, let's be clear. He's not saying that he's pro-life or anything. He's just saying he's pro-Israel. But the fact that he's openly rejected, rejecting that progressive label now is absolutely hilarious. Fetterman's comments come as he is faced with attacks from the left wing of his party over his pro-Israel rhetoric and the country's war with Hamas and his support of the Senate immigration negotiations the progressive have rejected. While he has pointed out recently on X that there were times during his 2022 campaign when he said, I'm just a Democrat and not a progressive. He owned the title when he was running for lieutenant governor of Pennsylvania in 2018. Progressive rhetoric is great, but progressive results are 100. He tweeted during the campaign, asking donors to contribute to his progressive momentum in another post. But I, the funniest thing I could think of this entire situation is the fact that his brain is starting to work, which, thank God, it's not good for anybody to go through a stroke. I don't 
care who it is. It's ironic, isn't it? I'm not saying it's a theory or not, but just... When his brain started to work again, again, thank God. Suddenly, he's becoming more conservative or just open-minded, at least. I mean, beforehand, he was just voting yes or no based on what Chuck Schumer said or his people. Fetterman told Tapper that there's absolutely different kinds of opinions in the Democratic Party. Oh, bull crap. Is there any pro-life Dems left? Like, real pro-life Dems? Are there any Democrats to support, say, the immigration moratorium? Just, just waiting for something. Guess what? There's none. The only difference is a slight economic policies. Just, oh, whether we should increase the corporate tax rate or the, uh, the income rates. Th that's the differences we're talking about here. Not, do you agree with abortion or not? Like there is within the Republican Party. And I've always been clear, very clear, that I'm going to stand on the right side of what I believe it is. And I've been very upfront on that as well, too. <laughs> you ran as an open progressive. The comments came as a New York Times resurfaced remarks that are made on the campaign trail. Telling Jewish Insider in 2022, I would also respectively say that I'm not really progressive in that sense. He regards to far-left Democrats who are sharply critical of Israel. So... This isn't like him flip-flopping, saying, I'm pro-Israel now. He, he's been pro-Israel, but the fact it's happening now because what's happened over in Israel is just pathetic. I mean, you get mad over one issue? Not just, you know, fundamental difference. It's just the tiniest of things. It's like, that's what Democrats get mad about? The Pennsylvania senator keeps an Israeli flag and posters of the kidnapped hostages on the walls of his Senate office. During one vile moment in, viral, excuse me, moment in early November, Fetterman waved a small Israeli flag at pro-ceasefire protesters as he walked out of the Senate Russell office building. <laughs> I mean, say what you will about Fetterman, but he's trying to be seen as, like, just a dude in the Senate. I mean, he dresses like one, but it's like he's getting attacked by these, you know, pro-ceasefire protesters. They're just waving the Israeli flag. He does seem like to have a sense of humor. It's like, I think he understands that, you know, he's just a dude. Or at least he's trying to be seen as just a dude in the Senate. In a separate interview on ABC's The View, Fetterman reiterated he does not support a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. Primarily because I believe that Israel has a right. But I also think it has the imperative to destroy Hamas, which I'll give it to him. Standing up to many Dems that are suddenly being pro ceasefire and all that, he's been consistent through and through. I'll give him that. He added that he does not support any additional conditions for aid to Israel. Nothing. Noting, I should say. I do think it's also an unspoken condition that you have to minimize the suffering and the death and damage to citizens. Which, I think that's everybody's stance, or at least, personally, that's my stance. I think the aid should be humanitarian. He might not be talking about that, but we should not be sending, you know, weapons over there so more people could die. That's not our job. I mean, you know, Israel's plenty of that. It's like, we should be sending humanitarian support, making sure people can make it through these hard times over in Israel. The Democratic Senator has also made his opinion on the conflict clear in posts on social media, pointing out moments of anti-Semitism, like the harassment of a Jewish-owned restaurant in Philly. They could be protesting Hamas. They could be protesting Hamas's systematic rape of Israeli women and girls or demanding the remaining hostages be immediately released, he wrote. Instead, they targeted a Jewish restaurant. It's pathetic and rank anti-Semitism. I'll give it to him. He's calling out his own party for saying, for protesting this crap. It's like, wait a minute. You want people to stop dying over there, but you're not protesting the side that started this crap on October 7th? You're not doing anything about that side again. I'm not saying any side's perfect. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying this situation is clear who who started this crap and who's doing the tragedies. His opposition to the ceasefire movement has not only been the wedge between him and congressional progressives. Fetterman has said that he supports Senate negotiations, bipartisan efforts to strike a deal in immigration policy, which has been tied to aid for Ukraine and aid for Israel. However, progressives on the Hill argue that Latinos have been excluded from the talks. Oh, shut up. 
there's plenty of Hispanics and Latinos in the house. If they're not negotiating now, that's their problem. There's plenty of Hispanics, Latinos on both sides now. So wh what do you mean they're not in the negotiations? AKA they realize there's a good chance there is a agreement made, uh, made on immigration that does not just give blanket amnesty for 50 million people at, or whatever it is at this point. At a news conference earlier this month, the Progressive Caucus chairwoman, Pramila Jepel, argued Republicans are choosing to hold Ukraine funding hostage in exchange for cruel, unworkable immigration policy demands. Senate Democrats in the White House must not agree to these extreme demands. Oh, quiet. Making sure the border gets funded and expelling illegal immigrants. That's not terrible. That's not extreme. That's the Democrat Party from 20 years ago. You just start looking at this entire situation Fetterman's pissing off the right people and I'm giving him props for that now as for if this is real if this is just a psyop I don't know but there is some hope at least that hey maybe there are some Dems left at least in the Senate and the House that well privately at least they try to think differently because what's happening now is just I'm just saying it's scary it is horrifying how, like, every Democrat seemingly the exact same on everything. Personality, the issues, messaging, every single one. Not a simple disagreement. And the ones that are quote-unquote disagreements, are they really disagreements? It just, it's a joke, but hey, hopefully this is a sign of things maybe changing. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, smash the like button down below, subscribe, share with your friends, hit that little bell, follow the social media accounts in the description down below, and of course, join the channel today. Thank you so much, Godspeed, to all of you.